my name is Eric Hood and today I'll be showing you how uh, how to make RCM more compatible with mobile. This tutorial was suggested by Green Screen Guy 123-JTO. Thanks for the suggestion. Uh, I believe that this will help lots of people. Let's get into it. So uh, once you're in your project, you have to go to Starter Player, Starter Player, uh, Starter Character Scripts, ACS Client, and then go to ACS Framework. Once you're inside of ACS Framework, you shall go to uh, line 1048, which is around here on the side, and you'll see a bunch of these cast bind action. La -da 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 -da. These are basically this cast means context action service. This basically allows for when the player is on, let's say, a controller or their mobile device. Uh, this will add like GUI or something to that. So this bind action basically binds an action uh, to the button. So first of all, this one's going to be called fire. That's the action name. And this is the action type, which is or function to bind. And then this is going to be should it create a GUI button. And this is the input. Uh, sometimes it might say game rules dot zero down zero up dot game rules dot drop gun, but for this uh, for aim and for shooting, it should be dot mouse button one and mouse button two. Pardon me. So there are two main, really, or three uh, uh, other functions which are set image, set position, and set title. The set title basically um, sets like the Im uh, not the image, the text for the button. So if I press play, you'll see that uh, when I equip any gun, it says shoot. It says shoot. That's aim. I have no idea what that is. That's toggle flashlight for some reason. And I'm not sure because these don't have labels. So let's say uh, this is the gun and then shoot. So yeah, so the shoot is the label. And this is what the first of all to use this you have to set the action so if it's going to be fire then uh, like the bind action you'll see that it's fire so you do fire and then this is the text so let's say I wanted to do aim so ADS and then aim now if I press play you'll see that once we're in here you will see somewhere it should say aim but for some reason it is not mm, that's weird oh yeah because this is not well, this has to be below this I believe now it should work yep now it should work so you saw that that is aim for the ADS button but for now I'm going to leave that as fire and shoot function. Now uh, this the set position is going to be action name and the position or a UDM2. So the UDM2 is basically uh, the position in Roblox. So this is going to be scale, this is going to be offset and this is also going to be scale. These two are X, these two are Y. So. I'll leave these two in the description as well as all this code here in the description. Uh, so when we are in the game, you will be able to see that this shoot fun this shoot button is somewhere else other than other than uh, where it's supposed to be. So that is the position. Uh, let's say I want to change it. Uh, let's change it to 0.1. Zero point one. Oops, I'm going to press Control A. Now we do this button. We'll see that the position has changed from here to here. 
now uh, that is the scale uh, the scale is important because whether you're on this phone this phone or this phone you'll still be uh, the size wouldn't change well the, well the size will but it will stay the same like for every single uh, mobile device now this this final one that I'm going to do which I'm currently not going to be using is set image so I'm just gonna dash this out because the, the set title ki kinda gets in the way of the set image so the set image is the set image practically just sets the image so I'll ch this is the action name like usual and the this rbx asset id is the roblox asset id so let's say you want to change this uh, thing uh, you'll have to go to let's say this one you'll have to go to this one copy asset id and now you see this string of numbers just delete that and then copy and then paste your new string of numbers it may be shorter it may be longer but now if we go in to the game you'll see that we have this So when it's, I'm not going to use this, but now we have this local cast frame that equals player service, local player, player GUI, context action GUI, and then context button frame. Button frame. Basically, what this does, it uh, uh, let me show you actually in game. It'll be easier if I show you. Uh, let's see how we're doing on time. Seven minutes, nice. So when I, when you're in game and you're using this. You'll see that all of there's these. There's this. So if we go to uh, players, your player, and then player GUI. If you go to context action GUI, and then context button frame, uh, the size is 1. Usually it is 0 0.3 and 0 0.5, but here we can see that this, this cast frame, is referencing this because what it does it goes into the player service this and then it finds the local player which is the player currently like the player on the device and then this is the player GUI which is this and then context action GUI which is this and context button frame which is this these are all ch ch children of the other one of the previous one and player service is the ultimate one so I set the size to 1 so it fills the entire screen and then now I just need to set the position I need to set the position so you will be able to see it there like the position there or like the size there and it's just a normal frame so you'll be like just this, this, these properties will be for any frame uh, and then local fire cast button equals cast uh, function get button fire. Basically, once you're in the game, uh, the cast is the context action service, which is also the GUI. And then this function basically gets the button, which is called fire. So uh, that just references the fire button. And then here it says if fire cast button then this basically is there so that let's say you're on PC it's not there this will throw a whole bunch of errors and your ACM will complete RCM will completely break so this is there to check if this is actually real or true by the way this uh, script doesn't only activate once it activates through the entire game so it keeps on checking so if you do firecast button dot size, which is a uh, firecast button is actually just an image button. So the size is just of an image button. So you can just set the size to whatever you want and then you can set the position here, set position to whatever you want here. And yeah, that is basically what I've this is basically all the tutorial. Unfortunately, you will have to do this for every single one if you do decide to uh, show it. But these uh, false buttons means that they're not going to show.
So the cycle fire mode, if you're on mobile, then it's not going to show. The zero up down and zero up, it's not going to show. Have a drop weapon, cycle fire mode, check, I mean, drop weapon, check a mag, cycle la light, cycle laser, reload, uh, ADS, and fire shoot will all be visible. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, or I hope that it helped you. If it did, oh, please, can you, would you subscribe? Uh, you don't have to. It's completely free. You don't have to. It just helps me out a lot. And it'll just motivate me to keep making more videos. But thanks to once again to Green Screen Guy 123-J2O for recommending this tutorial. Uh, I believe I hope it helps a lot of people. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.